Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I have followed another brilliant chess game. Let's follow game Queen of Chess, Judith Polgar playing with white pieces and David Navarra playing with black pieces. David Navarra used to be one of the strongest Czech chess player of chess history and that's why this game is interesting. Anyway, you will see how Judith in the middle game is going to sacrifice her piece and we will see double edge position with chances for both players but at the end only one is going to win this game so we are following spanish defense and spanish defense used to be one of the most beautiful but maybe most difficult chess opening in a chess game and you will see that this game is one of them so knight b8 and we are still in the middle of the opening bishop b7 and now c5 because Judith is going to play move d5 the center is going to be blocked no one has a chance to get advantage in the center for this reason both players are going to be active on the sides of the board and for this reason black played move c4 uh, found it a beautiful square for knight on c5 and white played move a5 so she blocked another side of the board but not forever because after g6 she played move b4 maybe this move is double edge and not the best one on the board because after this moves and now rook c8 c3 pawn is a weak pawn and david navara now is doing well because he's attacking the biggest white weakness that's something good to remember because if your opponent is weak anywhere it's good to attack his weaknesses and now rook c8 is the best move here so she played now rook e3 and maybe knight a4 used to be stronger than david navara moves because um, this pawn is under attack and even white has chance to save his pawn on c3 the c3 pawn used to be under pressure and white has to be careful uh, but the david played the knight d7 after exchange on c5 um, she played bishop a3 and after f5 he took once on f5 and finally she is going to sacrifice knight on e5 maybe this is not the best way how to play spanish defense maybe it's a little bit more risky but it's fantastic follow this game and it's fantastic follow this uh, sacrifice why because uh, Polgar is going to sack his knight sack her knight and uh, david navara has to defend his position and uh, you know, it's hard to see all variations, all threats, and maybe it's harder to defend this position than to attack against a black king. But you will see. So, what's the idea here? Is to take second pawn and how to defend this position? Because if uh, she is going to take third pawn, maybe she got a full compensation for a piece. But maybe no. You know, this position is double edge, open position, and now every move is important so for example bishop d6 mm, or i should take on f5 and this variation will tell you that yes uh, maybe oh uh, maybe black is under pressure but who knows how this position looks like mm, black is ahead of one piece for three points now i believe more in black position but everything is possible and nothing is impossible and both players here in my variation are playing for advantage or a victory it's open position all right but uh, david played mm, not bad move now rook c7 and after this following variation um, has a chance to go to h8 or f8 one move is nearly winning, one move is nearly losing. It's a chess. Sometimes we are too far from victory and too close from losing our games. And uh, if David is going to f8, 
maybe is winning because there is no danger attack against this king and i think that uh, white should not have a full compensation for a missing piece it's still double edge position but i believe more in black's position with extra piece because white's pawns are not dangerous now but david played to edge eight and maybe this move looks like okay because what's wrong with this move you will see she played now rook e1 and c4 and uh, after queen g8 here bishop b2 and finally bishop h7 and that's the reason why this king on h8 it's terrible weak and it's the biggest black weakness anyway what a beautiful uh, bishop sacrifice what black should play here okay if black is taking on h7 by king there is a check check and that's a winning position for white okay if black is taking by queen there's a check immediately on e8 so this sacrifice is working and if this sacrifice is working white is winning so let's enjoy this position because that's a chess beauty how sometimes not exactly the best sacrifice could lead to a winning position because attack is much more easier than defend and you know in the defend everybody on the board has a chance to play a blunder or not the best move so okay what have you played now bishop g7 and now bishop g6 black's king it's under heavy attack and it's difficult to defend all threats even he's going to g8 exchange and now rook e5 and uh, maybe you think that still black is absolutely okay but he is not he's under pressure his position is under fire and what to play now rook uh, bishop c8 and now rook g6 maybe bishop e6 you believe that is the best way how to play this position i'm going to show that no maybe uh, knight e7 and still believe me or no but i think that you are going to believe me that uh, black's position is too passive and uh, only white is playing for victory or advantage but let's come back because what is important is important how yurit pogar won this game and david took on g6 but he's losing queen and maybe with a, a good compensation because three pieces are strong enough than white's queen but i remember that white's got four points against one and <laughs> Plus, black's king is a weak king. Altogether, this position is lost for black. After this move, no more black pawns on the board, and four white pawns are giving winning chances to white. It's a funny how David played this position till end because he took on g2 and he believed that now uh, she will take on f3 with hope for draw. But don't worry this is not happened and uh, now david resigned it what a beautiful chess game of two uh, strong chess players i hope that you enjoyed this video and if yes just feel free and press like or press follow and made my day remember if you're going for attack you are going for victory and that's my message to you coming from this video hope you enjoyed if yes let's see each other next time thank you for watching see you next time See you, take care, bye bye.